WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We have a sea of red out there. In fact, the only sector inside, well, there's two sectors inside the S&P 500 that are trading slightly higher. The XLB is up 30 pennies and the XLP is up 19 cents. Otherwise, everything else trading to the downside other than the U.S. dollar. You've got the Dow off 282 points, about eight tenths of a percent. One and two, three tenths for the S&P or 59 points, two percent. For the NASDAQ, 315 points, 33 for the Russell, one and seven tenths percent there, over three percent for the semis. It's 122 point move to the downside. Gold's off seven bucks, silver down 50 cents. That's a two percent move there. Lights recruit off a buck 85, two and three quarters percent. Natural gas off eight pennies. That's down three and a half percent. The 30 year treasury down one point and eight ticks. She's printed out at 121.24. Let's go take a look at that uh, nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. It formed yesterday a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. It was that bearish engulfing candle that did that. Now price is headed back to its support structured area. That's between 4507 and 4524. Spot volatility. Now you can see it's well above its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1471. The spot is at 1618. Watch that at the end of the day. If there's a rate of change, one day rate of change, Greater than plus 10%, we're likely to see some type of bounce or bottom. Whether it starts at around 3.30 or this afternoon or this evening, we would be looking for that. The NQ right now trading below the bottom of its bullish structured profile and into an area where it had formed a prior swing point at about 15.483.75. Now, price closed below that. We're headed lower. We'll try to figure out where that lower price would be. The dollar, U.S. dollar index is negating at this stage here its TD9 count top that formed yesterday, completed yesterday. All it needs to do to do that is is closed above 102.22. It has made the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, and therefore a bearish reversal candle would confirm a sell the D point pattern. Short of that, the US dollar index is likely going to go target its 1.272 expansion area. That's at the 103.09 level. In the case of Goldilocks, uh, it is now trading below that uh, really important level of support, which is between 1983 and 1980-80. A close below 1980-80 would suggest to move back to the 1958 level or a uh, test of the swing point from down here back on June the 29th. Silver trading below both weekly and daily profiles. Looks like its next target, 2353. Lights recruit attempting to form a new profile right now. Support level there is 78.24. Natural gas, if it closed below 247 today, it'll trigger an A to B equals CD to the downside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start for Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. See you again soon.